Hi. I want to give you the rundown on my process of figuring out what is the right treatment for you and how we can develop a blueprint through going through my root cause analysis. When you come and reach out for help because you feel brain fog, fatigued, you can't lose weight, you're bloated, you're fatigued, and you just don't know what else to do. So pretty much what I do is an evaluation that is called the root cause analysis. So what is this root cause analysis? Very simple. I look at you as a plant, not just the leaves, which would be a condition like, hey, you have IBS, you have Hashimoto's, take a pill, goodbye, come back in six months, you got to live with it. I look at your stems, which are all the systems in your body that could be out of balance. And I look at your roots. So when we look at the roots, you have an acronym that I learned in uh, becoming board certified in functional medicine that's called STAIN, S T. A I N S for stress, T for toxins, A for adverse food reactions, meaning which foods are making you just really not feel great. Then I for infections, um, and then N for nutritional deficiency. So I want to explain what these are. So stress, we all have stress. And stress isn't bad. It's just when it's chronic, right? So if we have job stress, financial stress, uh, lack of exercise can actually be very stressful. Uh, maybe we're taking care of mom and dad or somebody in the family. That can really throw us off. So acknowledge that and we can find a way to manage it, not to cope with it because it's a big different reason. And I was talking about this with a client, a few clients earlier this week, uh, when they were saying, I, I asked, how do you cope with stress? And they said, uh, how do you manage stress? Sorry. And they say, well, I eat or uh, like, all right, that's not managing, that's coping. So we talked about stress and how to really manage it through uh, deep breath work, meditation, being out in the sun or in nature, whatever it may be. Uh, but that's huge and it needs to be addressed. Now, T, let's talk about T. T stands for toxins. So what are toxins? Anything from processed dead foods. I know they're sometimes delicious and amazing. I'm going to say I can never have them. I had a while before and I didn't look like this or I wasn't as fit as I am right now. But it can be artificial sweeteners. If you're doing the keto diet, you're probably getting exposed to some erythriol, which is very damaging for the gut and it's a toxin. Could be also be processed oils that promote a lot of inflammation. Could be the Teflon that you're using to cook your your lipstick, your makeup, your sunscreen, your water. I know, right? The list is extensive, but you know what? You can actually take action and really clean all of this up if you really want to feel better and thrive because your health is worth it. You are worth it. Feeling great is worth anything. So keep that in mind as you watch this video and as you consider doing anything about your health because there's a lot of things that you can control. Most of this you can't. Now, let's talk about A, right? We, we talked about the S, we talked about the T, let's talk about the A. The A stands for adverse food reactions. These are foods that sometimes your immune system just say, this is, this is really bothering me. And this happens when you either feel bloated, you have an itch, you have a rash, or you just feel it come back out. I had a meeting with a client yesterday and she told me, Natalia, I cheated one day and I had a Snickers bar and I just threw up right away. And we have done some testing on him and we have found that his gut is super compromised with several overgrowths of unhealthy bacteria. So pretty much his immune system that is telling him in the gut, hey, this is not good for me. Um, told him, hey, this is really not good for me. So if you have um, very uncomfortable bowel movements or if you are, you know, sometimes uh, experiencing pain in your joints, so if you have a headache or you feel brain fogged or you have constipation, diarrhea or bloating after eating a specific food, is your body like, hey, you know what? I'm trying to tell you this food is not for you, but sometimes we just go and eat that food because we love it. And it's not like we're never going to eat this food, but consider that 80-20 rule, right? 
what makes sense for my body and what makes sense for my health. If I'm not feeling great and I used to feel great, or if I've never felt great and I want to feel, I want to feel great. It's never too late. Um, and I say that because I've been on that boat. I've gotten really out of balance in my health. My thyroid has been compromised. Um, my immune system and a lot of things. So I've been through this. I'm an eating disorder survivor, and I had a lot of stress. I used to consume a lot of artificial sweeteners, and I probably had infections. I just didn't know because I had the worst GERD ever that kept me up at night and that would really just come out at night. So I've been there. And that's why I decided to become a dietitian and board certified in functional medicine to give you clarity about, hey, this is what's going on in our bodies and this is what you can do about it. So that was the A, listen to your body. And when you're tired and when you're stressed, just call it a day. We live too much in the do, 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 and the go, go, go. And sometimes the body just needs rest and peace and joy. So joy is something that is not talked about a whole lot. And joy is such an important part of our roots and our well-being. So I invite you to cultivate joy in whichever ways that you feel it's capable for you to do. Um, if you follow me, you'll see how I experience joy uh, in nature, with my pet, in the ocean, watching a sunset. Experiencing that can really bring your central nervous system in rest and digest mode so that you can feel better and start to heal. So that's an open invitation. Now, let's go to the I from the STAIN acronym. This is the infection. So it could be anything from mold toxins, uh, could be um, dysbiosis, which is the overgrowth of bacteria that has us out of balance and sometimes even promoting a condition like autoimmune disease. I've measured a lot of bacterial overgrowth in intestinal pretty much balance in a lot of the clients that I work with. And we have found bacteria that can actually trigger autoimmune disease, bacteria that can promote a lot of inflammation and bacteria responsible for somebody's really chronic conditions and symptoms. This being H. pylori, sometimes SIBO um, and yeast. So all this can be identified. So it's really a matter of testing. We can also identify Epstein-Barr and a lot of other things. So test, don't guess to figure out what's going on in your body, whether it's in your gut, whether it's a genetic variation that has you feeling moody in brain fog, that would be empty HFR. And I screen a lot of the clients that I work with from that so that they feel better. And believe it or not, when we actually do something about that genetic variation, their metabolism improves a significant amount. So now that leads me to nutritional deficiencies. Now, a lot of people want to lose weight and they tell me, Natalia, my metabolism is low because I have low thyroid or my thyroid is off. What I'm here to tell you is that your thyroid can likely be related to a uh, lack of nutrition. So if you don't have enough iron, if you don't have enough selenium, if you don't have enough zinc, vitamin D, omega-3s, these nutrients drive the conversion of your active thyroid gland. So what you want to keep in mind is that if you're on a medication for um, thyroid disease, you don't have to stay on this for the rest of your life. So in that your thyroid levels should be measured every three to six months. And we want to know if you have Hashimoto's induced because of your immune system, or if you have a low thyroid because of lack of nutrition or maybe toxic imbalance and maybe the food that you're eating. So it is my pleasure to serve you because I've been there and I love getting to the bottom of what's going on with someone's health, especially when they're on board and willing and really wanting to feel much better and say bye to all the symptoms that keep them at home or tired or not enjoying life and to say hi and welcome life and vitality because we're here to live and thrive and remember that health is wealth if you want to learn more and want to work with me click on the link below and open your eyes to a world of different possibilities for you your family and your overall well-being